find the defendant, Kyle H. Ritt Kyle H. Ritt House, not guilty. We, the jury, find the defendant, Deborah Villegas, not guilty of... <laughs> Emotional reactions when defendants are acquitted on the most serious charge. We're taking a closer look at some of Long Crime Network's top cases that didn't end in a conviction and the powerful responses from defendants that came with that news. Mr. Foreman, has the jury agreed upon a verdict in this case? Yeah. Is that verdict unanimous? It is. We begin in New Jersey, where one-time Olympian Michael Barrison was charged with multiple counts of attempted murder. Prosecutors alleged Barrison attempted to kill Lauren Canarak and her then-boyfriend Robert Goodwin in 2019, when the pair were living on Barrison's property as he trained Canarak in dressage horseback riding. Barrison's defense alleged Canarak drove him to a mentally unstable state after harassing him for weeks both in person and on social media. It was only then that Barrison shot Canarak and attempted to shoot Goodwin. Both survived the incident. After weeks at trial in 2022, a New Jersey jury returned a verdict in Barrison's favor. With regard to count one, attempted murder of Lauren Canarak, what is your verdict? Not guilty by reason of insanity. With regard to count two, attempted murder of Robert Goodwin, what is your verdict, sir? Not good. With regard to count two, the lesser included offense of aggravated assault upon Robert Goodwin, what is your verdict? Not good. Barrison was later transferred to a psychiatric hospital and has since been moved to a less restrictive facility. The court will now announce the verdicts. Moving now to the Midwest, where Matthew Moore was acquitted and tried in the murders of his wife, Emily Noble. Noble's body was found in September 2020 in Westerville, Ohio, months after she was last seen on May 24th of that year. Investigators believed Moore murdered his wife and staged the crime scene to look as though Noble died by suicide. He was charged with two counts of felony murder before a jury returned a not guilty verdict. Verdict on count one. We, the jury, being duly impaneled and sworn, find the defendant, Matthew L. Moore, not guilty of murder as he stands charged in count one of the indictment dated the 26th of August, 2022, signed by all 12 members of the panel. Verdict on count two. We, the jury, being duly impaneled and sworn, find the defendant, Matthew L. Moore, not guilty of murder as he stands charged in count two of the indictment dated 26 August 2022 and signed in ink by all 12 members of the panel. Verdict on count three. We the jury being duly impaneled and sworn find the defendant Matthew Moore not guilty of felonious assault as he stands charged in count three of the indictment dated uh, August 26, 2022, signed by all 12 members of the panel. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I cannot personally enough express my appreciation for the time and the attention you have given to this court. Heading south to Florida, where a woman accused of murdering her stepdad turned husband now walks free. State of Florida versus Danielle Justine Redlick. Danielle Redlick was charged with second degree murder in the 2019 death of her husband, 65 year old Michael Redlick. Redlick had previously been married to Danielle's mother, which investigators later determined was a ploy to facilitate access to medical care during her cancer treatment. In January 2019, Danielle Redlick called 911, saying her husband suffered a heart attack. When first responders arrived, she admitted she'd stabbed him. At trial, Redlick's defense argued she stabbed her husband just once, only out of self-defense. After only four hours of deliberation, jurors returned a verdict. Verdict as to count one, we the jury find the defendant not guilty. So say we all sign juror badge number 283, four person. Special finding, this page was left blank. Verdict as to count two, we the jury find the defendant guilty of tampering with physical evidence as charged in the information. So say we all, signed juror badge number 283, four person, 
dated at Orlando, Orange County, Florida, on the 17th day of June, 2022. And would you please poll the jury? Yes, ma'am. Juror badge number 283, are these your true and correct verdicts? Juror badge number 18, are these your true and correct verdicts? Juror badge number 220, are these your true and correct verdicts? Juror badge number 238, are these your true and correct verdicts? Juror badge number 356, are these your true and correct verdicts? And juror badge number 5345, are these your true and correct verdicts? Redlick was found not guilty of second-degree murder, but was convicted of tampering with evidence. She was later released and sentenced to one year of probation. Verdict, count two. We, the jury, find as follows as to the defendant in this case. The defendant is not guilty. So say we all this 29th day of June, 2023, at Fort Lauderdale, Broward County, Florida. Also in Florida, former school resource officer Scott Peterson was found not guilty for his response in the Parkland school shooting. On February 14, 2018, a gunman opened fire at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, killing 17 people and injuring 17 more. Prosecutors alleged Peterson, the school's SRO, ignored his training when he didn't approach the gunman. He was charged with felony child neglect, culpable negligence, and perjury. The jury handed down a verdict late last month. Verdict, count three. We, the jury, find as follows as to the defendant in this case. The defendant is not guilty. So say we all, this 29th day of June, 2023, at Fort Lauderdale, Broward County, Florida. Verdict, count four. We, the jury, find as follows as to the defendant in this case. The defendant is not guilty. So say we all, this 29th day of June, 2023, at Fort Lauderdale, Broward County, Florida. Verdict, count five. We, the jury, find as follows as to the defendant in this case. The defendant is not guilty. So say we all this 29th day of June, 2023, at Fort Lauderdale, Broward County, Florida. Verdict, count six. We, the jury, find as follows as to the defendant in this case. The defendant is not guilty. So say we all this 29th day of June, 2023, at Fort Lauderdale, Broward County, Florida. Verdict. Count seven. We, the jury, find as follows as to the defendant in this case. The defendant is not guilty. So say we all this 29th day of June, 2023 at Fort Lauderdale, Broward County, Florida. Heading west now to Texas, where an entire courtroom breaks out in cheers when Daniel Villegas is acquitted of murder. B, we, the jury, find the defendant, Daniel Villegas, not guilty of... <laughs> Villegas spent 23 years behind bars before he was acquitted in October 2018. In 1993, when he was just 16 years old, Villegas was arrested in the murders of 17-year-old Armando Mondo Lazo and 18-year-old Bobby England. Villegas was convicted of the murders in his second trial after his first ended in a hung jury. In 2007, he was granted a third trial on the basis of ineffective counsel in his second trial. Just days after that third trial began, Viegas' jury returned a full acquittal. In the District Court of El Paso County, Texas, 409th Judicial District, the state of Texas versus Daniel Viegas, number 940D09328. Verdict form B, we, the jury, find the defendant, Daniel Viegas, not guilty of... <laughs> to have the jury polled. There has been a request that the jury be polled so that I can ensure that it is your individual verdicts. Juror number one, Ms. Courtney, is this your verdict? Juror number two, Mr. Flores, is this your verdict? Juror number three, Ms. Rocha, is this your verdict? Juror number four, Mr. Contreras, is this your verdict? Yes. Juror number five, Mr. Miranda, is this your verdict? Yes. Juror number six, Mr. Paul, is this your verdict? Yes. Juror number seven, Ms. Luna, is this your verdict? 
Juror number eight, Ms. Gonzalez, is this your verdict? Juror number nine, Ms. Mr. Hunt, is this your verdict? Juror number 10, Ms. Guido, is this your verdict? Juror number 11, Ms. Bloom, is this your verdict? And juror number 12, Ms. Estevane, is this your verdict? Yes, sir. The court does find this to be the verdict of the jury and will be accepted as such. One of Law & Crime Network's most watched trials ended in a powerful not guilty verdict when 18-year-old Kyle Rittenhouse was acquitted on all counts. Face the jury and hearken to its verdicts. In August 2022, unrest broke out in Kenosha, Wisconsin after the shooting of Jacob Blake. Blake, who is black, was shot by a white police officer. Amidst the unrest, the then 17-year-old Rittenhouse armed himself with an AR-15 rifle and shot three men. Two were killed and the third was injured. Rittenhouse's defense argued he acted in fear of his life. After days of deliberation, jurors returned a verdict in Rittenhouse's favor. State of Wisconsin versus Kyle Rittenhouse. As to the first count of the information, Joseph Rosenbaum, we the jury find the defendant Kyle H. Rittenhouse not guilty. As to the second count of the information, Richard McGinnis, we the jury find the defendant Kyle H. Rittenhouse not guilty. As to the third count of the information, unknown male, we the jury find the defendant Kyle H. Rittenhouse not guilty. As to the fourth count of the information, Anthony Huber, we the jury find the defendant Kyle H. Rittenhouse not guilty. As to the fifth count of the information, Gage Grosskreutz, we the jury find the defendant Kyle H. Kyle H. Rittenhouse not guilty. Members of the jury, are these your unanimous verdicts? Is there anyone who does not agree with the verdicts as read? No. Would you wish the jury pulled? No. Okay. Uh, okay, folks, your job is done. For all the latest verdicts, trial coverage, and true crime updates, stay with Long Crime Network. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.